Hey, what's up guys? We're back with another video. Today we're going to be doing the WXYZ piece, the long-awaited WXYZ piece. Sorry guys, I had to break out of town for the weekend, go, uh, go camping up in the mountains. But as you guys saw in the Instagram stories, it was full of smoke. Damn, there's like five fires up there. And now today, all that smoke went over to Seattle and it's, uh, man, I feel like I'm in Beijing or something in the wintertime. It's pretty gnarly over here right now. I think I got a respirator. But <laughs> what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be painting the WXYZ piece. Got my little sketch right here. Hopefully that shows up in the video there. You guys see that? <clears throat> got that pre-prep yesterday so we can go ahead and get that going. Uh, and I got a nice little assortment of colors. Of course I'm using the flame orange again because it seems to be my favorite paint at the moment right now. Um, haven't had a chance to try the Montana Blacks yet. I know you guys have been asking about them. Uh, but I will soon. Hopefully soon we'll get some in. Um, I'd like to see what they're like. I'd like to see how they compare to these, to be honest. But uh, but right now this is what I'm using. I got a great assortment of colors. We have the, the menthol lights. You know I love the menthols. Crazy menthol, lagoon blue. Uh, oh, I got some flame blue in here too. Some turquoise. I don't know if I'm using all these colors. You never know. I'll just use whatever. Uh, for 3D blocking, we're going to be doing some 3D blocking. I'm going to be using this dark turquoise and the flame blue. Because it looks like a nice shade. Oh, and of course, I got some crazy cherry here. You guys know I love that crazy cherry. So, uh, crazy about the cherry, man. But uh, we'll be rocking that for our, uh, our splash around the background. And maybe some of this crazy green for the outer outer. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Now, I am going to diverge away from fat caps. I'll probably use fat caps that come on the cans to fill. Because, you know, obviously it takes less time. But y'all been asking about more thin tip stuff, and uh, you're absolutely right. We need to use the full breadth of the stuff that we have here. Not just fat camp, Green Ranger. Branch out. Get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will. I will. So today we're gonna be we're gonna be using these flame blue skinnies again because I've been playing around with them, and you know honestly they're pretty cool. You know I, they are they aren't the cleanest thin tip, but if you go really fast and close, you get really really fine lines. A uh, very touch sensitive cap, and um, I think you guys will like it. So we'll go ahead and play with those today, and uh, I'll see you guys on the wall. All right, so I guess I wasn't recording on that part. We're doing the sketch outline right now, so my apologies for not recording that part. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and get this sketched out. I'm using my sketch that I have prepared right here, and we're doing a WXYZ piece. Again, the WXYZ piece. So we'll be cracking that out right now. And again, when you're doing your sketch, take your time. Don't get stressed out if it doesn't come out exactly as you like. This is just the kind of wax on, wax off, Danielson kind of stuff. You know what I'm saying? It's just kind of take your time, lay it out. Wax on, wax off. If it ain't waxing the way you like it, cut back with another color. Remember, you got a built-in eraser in the can, guys. So don't stress about it. Just go with the flow and do your thing, okay? Does that make sense? All right, cool. All right. So anyways, um, I'm on the Y right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get that going here. Get that field in. And again, I'm using the, uh, the menthol light. I really like this menthol light. It's a really nice shade. Alright, sick. Here's the basic sketch of the piece all finished up. As you can see here, it looks very similar to the drawing, although it's a little bit more cramped. I need another panel on this uh, spot, and I don't have one, so I had to kind of squeeze it up a little bit tighter than I'd like it to. But that's alright. Uh, as you can see, we got the WXYZ in there. The Z's like that 2 style. I like to do those a lot. 
Really wish I wouldn't have had to squish those arrows in there, but what are you gonna do, huh? Only got three panels going. Uh, but yo, and I built the X off the Y, or off the W like that. It's kind of funny, when I was a kid, that was frowned upon to build letters off each other in that fashion, but people do it now. Styles change, conventions change, and you know, style's relative, like I said. Not everything is relative, but style is definitely one of those relative things. Um, let's see here. Pretty happy with the X and the Y for sure. Those are definitely not easy letters to do, but they, they fit in there nicely, kind of snug, being bridged together by the two outer letters, so that's kind of fun. The bottom of the W, mm, I'm not sure if I'm happy with it, but who cares? We're just doing it for fun, right? This is just a fun project. So let me go ahead and start filling it in, and uh, I'll be with you guys in just a second. Woo! All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the fill-in portion of this. I'm going to be using menthol light, the flame orange menthol light, and also I'm not going to be using the, uh, the flame skinny to do this because obviously we're filling in a large area. So I'm just going to use the stock tip that's on it. That is the Molotow Pink Dot, or the Eurofat Cap, whatever they want to call it. Um, <clears throat> now, this portion does get pretty dusty, so I'm definitely going to mask up for this one. Mask off. Fuck it. Mask up, right? <laughs> All right, again, we're using that light menthol, and boy, does it cover nicely. In case you can't tell, I really, really like this shade. It just goes on so thick and lovely, and, um, just got maximum control. They call this high high output, not high pressure. And I see what they mean. It's, it comes out very thick and nice, but not too not too uh, not too high pressurey like the Malto high pressures were. Very nice can. I would have to say I like this better than the Malto covers all can, which the covers all colors, in my opinion, are covers all only in name. It was a branding thing, and um, it's very disappointed in the covers all cans. I don't think we'll, I don't think we're even going to order them anymore. So. If you want to pick them up for, uh, you know, like posterity's sake, I would definitely grab some and keep them as collectibles because we've only got a few thousand in the States and that's about it. Granted, keep in mind, they're not a terrible can. They're a good can. It's just, I felt it was a little bit deceiving the way that they named them. You know, branding's important. You got something called covers all. You better keep it covers all. You know what I'm saying? So anyways. For the price, you can't beat these. These are fantastic cans. Lovely, baby, lovely. So let's go ahead and keep filling here. All right, let's start on the X. You know, and this is something I always tell kids too, because they're like, oh, you know, you know, I'd love to buy paint from you guys, but I'm kind of broke and whatnot. And it's like, you know, I don't expect you to get every single can from AP, you know? Grab a couple, you know what I mean? Because what you can do is, um, you know, I know you guys are getting your Rusto rack in, buying, however you're doing it, I'm not here to judge. Um, but, uh, you know, do your do your cheap fills for your cheap thrills. Rock this stuff for your doodads, your outer outers, your, your halos, you know. Um, I was doing that back in the day. I had, a, I had a bag of, you know, when I was young, I had to have a bag of, you know, 80% Rusto and the rest was, was Euro cans, you know, and I'd, I'd use, you know, this one can for like three to four pieces for all my effects and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So, you can do that too, no worries. I mean, you know, if you're older and you just want to get paint, of course, come holler at us. We'd really appreciate your business. Thank you very much. All right, let's go ahead and get filling. I'll tell you one thing, once you start using them, you're going to be addicted. Being able to mount those caps on, being able to mount the caps on is, is crucial and having that nice control, mm, lovely. Don't get me wrong, if there was an American company that made a high quality artist grade spray paint, I'd be the first one to be crowing about it. I would be. But the American paint manufacturers are just, they're blowing it. They are blowing it. That's why I give them no love. You need to step up. High quality American paint. The nice valve, the Euro style valve. You guys can do it. You have the technology. You have a customer base. 
us and you guys, you know what I'm saying? I would love an American paint. In the meantime, we'll have to keep importing stuff. It's kind of a, you know, people always like, oh, why are these cans so expensive? It's like, well, yeah, they, they cost, you know, three bucks in Europe. You ever seen what a Rust-Oleum can costs in Europe? Go, go to European websites and see what a, a can of white label Rusto costs over there. They're like 11 bucks. Hmm. Probably because you have to ship them over there and they're heavy and they're flammable. You know, there's so many factors involved with it. So that's kind of what we're looking at here. But, um, so again, man, just get a few cans. You'll see what I mean. And for those serious artists, the ones who, who need bulk quantities, I can help you guys out. You got to do a minimum of 20 cases. If you can do 20 cases, I can get you these for $3.95. Can't beat that, guys. You just got to bulk up. Look how it lays down the line. I mean, come on, man. This stuff is gorgeous. You know you want to paint with this. I sure like painting with it. What a great light. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. All right, sick. So here we are with the fill. Now this took uh, one can of the menthol light plus about four or five squirts of that scrap can I had just to fill in on the bottom right there. So as you can see, you can get quite a bit of filling done with these cans um, with minimal effort. And it, it goes pretty quickly too. So these are things to kind of keep in mind when you're using paint, you know? I mean, you can paint a lot faster with these cans than you can with others. Keep that in mind. And so for those of you who, who are concerned about time constraints, getting in and out of quickly of a situation, something to really consider. That's why I always recommend people to go up to the crew packs. You know, if you get two or three people together, uh, you guys could score a pretty good amount of paint for a pretty good price. Like I said, $3.95 a can, if you do 20 cases, it's not that hard to do between, you know, three or four dudes that want to go paint together. Or ladies. Ladies like to paint too. Don't don't wanna don't wanna don't don't wanna pick pick genders now. I'm just saying, you know, anybody can paint. But um I'm just saying guys is a general reference. So <laughs> Watch out, Green Ranger, you're walking into that one. Um but <laughs> why do people get so offended these days? <laughs> but anyway, so you know, like I said, you know, this stuff definitely goes a long way, definitely makes your job a lot easier. And uh, between a few people, it's not that bad to do. So again, if you're interested in crew packs, just give me a call 206-365-4083, 206-365-4083. Also, want to shout out to the Wharf Cats. What's up, Wharf Cats? Now the Inky's gone, the Wharf Cats. Have gotten braver they're showing up over here now i see you wharf cat there might be another dog in your future so be careful anyways <laughs> let's move on to the next step we're going to start the outline with the flame blue skinny all right dope let's go ahead and start doing our basic outline here again just treat this like your um like your initial sketch. Just go with the flow. Don't stress. Do your thing. Now here's something I want to show you guys. If you're having trouble getting your lines to line up, you can do this. You can just run it through. You know what I'm saying? Just run it through like this. Does that make sense? Because what you can just do is cut back. Then you just come with your cutback color, cut all that out. Cut it out, yo. Simple technique. All right, and don't worry about this kind of stuff. That's normal. Just give it a little cutback like that. Green Ranger, I thought you didn't like cutbacks. Well, that was a different paradigm. We're in a new paradigm now. Now we're all about cutbacks. What the fuck? I love cutbacks now. 
No, I was just trying to make you guys not be dependent on them. That, that was the whole thing. I didn't, I didn't want you guys to depend on cutbacks too much. You know what I'm saying? But they're a useful technique. Definitely do cutbacks. All right, dope. Here's the basic sketch of the piece done up now. As you can see, I put a little X under the W where that little piece went off. I'm just gonna cut that part off. I mean, it was kind of like a weird thing I did in the sketch and at this point it doesn't really work, so it's gotta go. So I went ahead and put that line right there and we'll go ahead and cut back with the turquoise, or I'm sorry, not turquoise, it's light. God, I always forget the names of these colors. Um, menthol light, menthol light, sorry about that. Ooh. Still some black in that cap. There we go. All right, so let's just go ahead and line it up. Clean it up as best as we can for now. We're gonna come back with the black anyways and do our outer outer. So no worries about that. Or I mean our, our 3Ds. We're gonna drop our 3Ds downwards. They're gonna go down like this. So no worries, mate. No worries. Just go downwards, boys. Just go down. Whenever in doubt, just make your 3D go down. It's an easy way to go, and honestly, I think it looks the best. All right, so now we're just doing the 3Ds. We're just gonna make them go downwards. It's an easy way to go. Uh, don't forget to do the mini 3Ds on the overlaps. I'm making my 3D about six or seven inches. But you can make it as big or as small as you like. As I always say, you do you, baby. You do you. Woo! Air quality is terrible right now. I don't know if I can finish this today. It's, you probably can't see it in the video, but there's little specks of uh, burnt up trees and shit coming down right now from the forest fires. And oh, my throat's all, yeah. I'm dying, guys. I'm dying here. We're going to try and finish this regardless. <laughs> Let's get going. Anyway, so, <clears throat> so far I've done 3D and the outline on it. So we're going to go ahead and start lacing in the, uh, the splash on the background and then we'll go ahead and start doing some cutbacks and stuff I wanted to do kind of a funky feel but honestly guys I don't think I can do it today even with the respirator I'm having a hard time breathing which means I'm having a hard time talking so um, let's move on to the next step hopefully I don't die of asphyxiation halfway through this but gotta put in the work right gotta put in the work gotta put in the work so I'll see you guys in just a second. All right guys, we got some of that crazy cherry. I'm gonna be rocking that crazy cherry for my splash. So let's go ahead and lace it in. Remember, this is a very, very organic process. Just kind of lace it in however you want. Do your thing. No worries, mate. Now I'm gonna be doing an outer outer. So when you're doing this, don't feel like you gotta bump your splash right up on your outline because you're gonna put an outer outer on it anyway so go ahead and leave a little bit of a gap if you want that way you don't have to worry about cutting it so close it's up to you if you want just kind of paint like this leave a little space of course if you want to cut back you can do that as well too it's totally up to you Now this flame blue skinny is kind of a thin cap, so what I'm going to do is switch over to something fatter, and this is what I used for my uh, 3D fill as well. That was the Lego cap. I'm going to be using that to go ahead and fill that in. It's a little bit thicker, not too thick to um, cause too much overspray and whatnot, but just just enough to get us a little bit quicker coverage. You know what I'm saying?
So all right, we got the splash in, right? That was the crazy cherry in the flame, um, flame orange. Really love that color. Now we got a little bit of white space left over, so I thought it'd be a good idea just to kind of mix it up. And I had this can of Iron Lack Smurf Blue. You guys like seeing the other brands, so here I am showing you another brand. And uh, we don't carry it. We want you to shop with us, now keep in mind. But in order to do that, I'd still like to give you guys some, you know, a little bit of fair variety, you know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and pop this off. Anyways, it's a good, it's a good way for me to test to see if you guys like this stuff or not. These are kind of cool, they come with two caps, and um, as far as Chinese paints go, it's a very good quality Chinese paint. And you know me, I love my Australians. Good people, man, good people. So um, we're gonna go ahead and preview this can just to see how it sprays and what it's all about. Remember, this is Smurf Blue. Can you see me? I'm gonna tell you right now, it definitely stinks, so make sure you wear a respirator when you're using it. And that's common with pretty much any Chinese paint. Well, here, wear a respirator whenever you're filling anyways. You should be wearing a respirator. You don't wanna end up like me 10 years ago when I had a severe uh, sensitivity to the solvents in paint, and so I couldn't paint for a long time. It does do that to you. The cool thing about it is if you stop exposing yourself so much to it, it gets out of your system, and it did for me too. But now whenever I do my major filling portions, I always mask up, mask off. I mean, fuck it, mask up. See, <laughs> it works. <laughs> so let's go ahead and get this filling in. Cover's really nice. Uh, for Chinese paint, like I said, it's pretty decent stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and mask up for real this time. Yeah, baby. Woo. There we go. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm gonna to switch to the, the Euro Pink Fat just because it gives me a little bit more uh, oomph. All right guys, we went ahead and got that filled in. Creates a nice, big, clean background, which is great. Now, a couple thoughts. Iron Lack, I cashed it out, just doing the top and part of the bottom. I thought it would really cover the whole thing. And I've heard that from people before saying that, you know, you can only get so much coverage out of these cans, although they are cheaper, and they do feel nice and thick. And uh, it was rather nice to paint with, but I gotta say, I still think you get a little bit more oomph out of these flame oranges. And I know you guys are probably saying, oh, it's just because you sell the flame oranges and not the iron like. Do a side-by-side -side test and get back to me. You'll see what I'm talking about. Now, that said, I'm not hating. I'm just telling you my experiences with it. It might just be this color, too. You know, these aren't very scientific tests, mind you. But, um, you know, we're just artists doing our thing. And for the price, you really can't beat these cans. Maybe we'll pick them up someday. I don't know. That was pretty illuminating. You know, we got a chance to try it out. And like I said, you know, it's it's not a very scientific experiment here, but it was it was just a good way to kind of get a feel for what the cans are like and how they paint. Coverage-wise, they do cover nicely. I, I feel like they're not filled as much as the other cans, but they cover nice and they handle the caps very well. They do stink quite a bit, but you should be wearing a respirator for your at least for the fill portions of what you do, anyways. Trust me, I spent many years doing buckled silver throw-ups with Walmart silver in the middle of the night. I was drunk with my friends, having the time of my life. <laughs> but inhaling all that silver Walmart paint was probably the worst thing I could have done to myself. Luckily, these aren't nearly as bad. These are much better for you than the paint that I used when I was your age. 
much lower VOC, much less toxic stuff. Nevertheless, you should wear a respirator when you're filming. When you're filling. <laughs> Did you get that? You wear a respirator when you're filling? Yeah, that's right. So anyways, let's go on to the next step. All right, guys, we got some uh, was it signal yellow. Signal yellow and the flame blue. Flame blue, signal yellow. We're gonna go ahead and start lacing in our outer outer with that. Gotta be a nice cut, nice touch. You know what I'm saying? Be a nice touch for this. All right, don't forget to shake your cans, unlike me, who forgot to shake his can and clogged his last cap. Why don't you live by your own rules, Green Ranger? I don't know, I try. Never said I was perfect. <laughs> Anyways, let's go ahead and fill this in. We'll add a few little bubbles and doodads and whatever. Whatever you want. Giving the people what they want to see graffitis. All right, the signal yellow is pretty decent for a yellow. I gotta say, it covers really nice. It is on the dusty side, so keep that in mind. Although that's pretty common for most yellows that I run into. They often are rather dusty. Oh, shit. Fell off my little thing here. <laughs> so yeah, like I said, it's a little bit on the dusty side. Nevertheless, this cover's really good for a yellow. Very, very happy with it. Not the cleanest yellow though. I think that Rust-Oleum yellow, the sunshine, sunburst yellow, that one's a very clean, but dusty too. They're all dusty. Nevertheless, for coverage, very low odor and quick drying. This flame blue does pretty darn good. So very happy with it. Let's uh, let's see up here. Put a couple little dots up here. We'll come back with our outline color and we'll re-crisp up the blacks and go over some of those other spots that, you know, need a little bit of work. I'll see you at the next part. All right, dope. So now we got our double outline. Looks pretty good. Now it's time to come back with the black. Crisp up the black, fix up anything that might look a little out of place, lines that went over, you know, things like that. Just a little black cut back and just to, just to clean it up. And then, uh, oh, I'm gonna put the little mini 3Ds wherever it needs to be as well too. Still haven't done that yet. Um, what else? I think that's it so far. So let's go ahead and get the black and start fixing some of those uh, little cut All right, dope. And again, I'm using the flame blue skinny cap with the black. All right, guys, here we're at right now. I've got the outer outer, I've got the fill, I've got the splash, and I got the 3D and everything done. Now I wanted to do some kind of funky fills and stuff, and now that I'm looking at it, I kind of like the simple, graphic, clean nature of it. I almost just want to leave it as is. So I think I'm just going to do that. Let's just call it an end, because honestly, <coughs> I'm having a bitch of a time breathing in this smoke. And uh, I kind of just want the letters to just kind of hang on their own. It's looking pretty good to me. Y'all are really here to see all the shout outs. I know. I, I get it. I, I, my feelings aren't hurt. I understand. So we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get onto the shout outs right now. Uh, but before we do that, let me a couple thoughts. Um, let's see. I used what I used like one and a quarter cans of the light uh, menthol. I used about a third of a can of that zinc yellow, or is it signal yellow? I'm sorry, it was signal yellow. <clears throat> I used one can of the crazy. The Crazy Cherry. I used uh, about a whole can of that Iron Lack Smurf Blue. And I used about a quarter of a can of the Flame Blue Light Blue, which actually matched up pretty well. I don't know if you can see where I blended them. Can you see where I blended them? Tell me where I blended them. Yeah, I think they blended together pretty well. So yeah, I mean, not a lot of paint was used in this. Nevertheless, I got a very nice piece on three panels. This is uh, eight feet high by uh, 12 feet long, right? Four times three is 12. Yep, that's right. Four times three is 12. I wish I could have had another board. Had I another board, I'd have more room. I could have stretched out the letters a little bit more. They definitely needed a little bit more breathing room. As you can see, they're a little bit squished up. But again, what are you gonna do? We're just gonna paint, we're just gonna paint. Now, as far as that flame blue cap goes, the, uh, the light blue or the flame blue skinny cap, 
It's very great for getting in the corners because you can get those really sharp lines, very pressure sensitive lines. But for general outlining, I don't particularly like it. I think it's a little bit too soft. Now again, this is just my opinion. You might love them. You know, I got, I got a lot of people who love skinny tips and a lot of people wanted me to use skinny tips in videos. So here I am using skinny tips. So you might love them. I personally, not a fan. Well, I like them, but I don't like them, I guess. I don't know how else to describe it. Wouldn't be my first choice. But you know, if you're a skinny tip guy, definitely check them out. They might be something that tickles your fancy. The smoke so, out there is gnarly, so I'm gonna have to um, take a break for the rest of the day. Hope you guys don't mind. But I think we have good foundation with the piece. You can see the letters, you can see the structure, you can see, you can see the basics of what it is. So I think, you know what we'll do is we'll make this a two-part video. We're gonna do the shout outs here. Don't worry guys, you're gonna get them in just a second. But um, I think uh, the next video what we'll do is we'll bring out those boards, bring them back out again, and uh, I'll do all the doodads, the 3D highlights, uh, maybe some fill accents and stuff. And I know to some people who piece like, oh, that's kind of out of order. Just, just, just work with me here, guys. We're showing kids the foundations of letters. You know what I mean? And then we're showing them different steps, different ways to do things. Um, hopefully you'll understand. So, <laughs> so why don't we do this? I'm gonna cut out for the rest of the day, go edit this, get it up online, and then right now, let's watch some shout outs. See you guys later.
Yeah. 